welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a tutorial for this brick colored smoky eye which is beautiful for fall and super easy. It like literally takes you five minutes even though I'm going to make it seem totally longer. I sound like a true white girl saying totally but I never say totally so just keep that in mind. Anyway um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it okay so getting started i'm going to put some vaseline on my lips because they're dry it's going to prime my face slash moisturize with the ultra repair cream with intense hydration from first aid beauty i have to keep reminding myself to actually look into the camera because i feel like people are gonna like wonder why am i looking where i'm looking I've started using my moisturizer on a beauty blender and I think that's just so much easier because it's less messy. But once you moisturize your face, oh my gosh, my hair's killing me. Um, then it's time for brows and my brow pencil has <laughs> run out. So I'm just going to use my spoolie. I'm going to use my spoolie, you know control my brows and then I'm going to go into the Smashbox full exposure palette and use the powders that I'm currently using which are these two those two at the bottom I'm going to be using the Urban Decay <laughs> Perversion Angled Brush eyebrow quickly off camera because it's boring. I'm gonna be using my clear brow gel from Anastasia and this is just to hold my brows in place. I'm actually going to try and clean up my eyebrows today because they're looking sloppy and I'm gonna be going in with Tarte Shape Tape and the lightest color, make mistake. But I'm just gonna be doing that. So putting it on the back of my hand, just a little bit. Sh flat shader brush, but this one's angled and um, dipping it in here. My skin's sort of still kind of, you know, dry from sunburn, but it's obviously not red anymore, so that's good. And then I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. This one I've had for a while, but I decided not to use it in a video. I wanted something more full coverage for those two videos, but this one is nice and light, and I've been using it all summer. Um, if you have oily skin, it's not going to be the best, but my skin's pretty dry. What I like about putting some type of chapstick on your lips, like Vaseline or whatever, before you do your foundation is that it rubs off easier than when you had no chapstick on, if that makes sense. Because sometimes I'll get like a line right here of foundation that like just clumped up my lip and it looks super gross. I'm like, what is that in your mouth? You can just take a tissue and like, it'll come off so easy. Also, this foundation is super buildable, I find. And it doesn't look too cakey. Oh. No. Okay, so with concealer, I'm going to 
conceal my little bags here at the bottom. And I'm also going to brighten up my chin, my nose, and my forehead. My zero head. I have like no forehead. That's why my hair is always falling in my face. There's nothing to hold it in place. <laughs> foreheads we'll call their forehead a five head I gotta call mine a zero head because there's no forehead there anyway time for powder <laughs> um I'm trying to get the Laura Laura I think I just spit the Laura Mercier powder but I feel like that's just the same thing as the airspin powder so I'm gonna set my under eyes now and my lids so that we go in with Eyeshadow, you can blend it to perfection. Sometimes my forehead creases because I'm always making like crazy facial expressions. So I gotta like put some powder right there. And smile lines. I like never smile. So I don't know why I worry about that. <laughs> I look so good. Okay, so I'm gonna brush it away. To contour just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna be contouring with my e.l.f. highlighting brush and using the usual. I need new products. We're gonna go in with the banana powder that comes in this palette. Voila, that one right there. If it would like not shine so bright, that'd be great. There, it's y'all. That's all I need now. And just cleaning up because it's desperately needed. I'm um, so next. I'm going to be bronzing, not contouring my forehead because my forehead is small enough without contouring. I'm gonna be going in with the two outer shades in this palette, and I'm just gonna use those. Tap that top tap off the extra powder and I just like tap it in because I don't want to like mess with my eyebrows for the eyes I'm gonna be using the modern renaissance palette again I'm getting annoyed with myself using it I want something with a lot of colors so if you guys have any suggestions of what I should get let me know. I'm going to be taking tempera as usual to set my eyelids again. I'm going in with Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, and Juan Fresco. I'm doing a rusty colored smoky eye and not just um, orange or red, which I have done. But I figured let me just combine them since I can't decide. And... Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna be taking that with this super fluffy brush, which is the Morphe R Morphe R40 brush, and I'm just gonna be blending it into my crease. <laughs> After applying those three colors, we're gonna move on to the really fun part, which is where I use red ochre, which is that one right there. I'm gonna be applying this with the brush that comes in the palette, and let's see how it goes. So, as usual, we're packing it heavily on the brush and on the lid. <laughs> Primavera, which is one of my favorites, as you may know, 
and I'm putting that in the inner corner. We are also gonna smoke out our lower lash line. I'm gonna be mixing basically all the colors that I used. On to mascara. Okay, so I'm going in with the um, Tardis lip paint, and I think it was oh, birthday suit. And I'm also going to be topping it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Next we're going to do highlight and I have stolen this from my sister. I'm mixing Eclipse and Luna which is what I always mix when I steal this from her. You can almost see it with my lights. Messing with the lights when I apply this. Okay, so I've turned off one of my lights so that you guys can see better the highlight. Ah, look how pretty that is. Yeah, so this is the completed makeup look. this video it was super fun to make this is one of my favorite makeup looks because it's so easy and I hate not having eyeshadow on my eyelids so like you just smear like basically four colors on your lid and call it a look I'm good with that give this video a thumbs up subscribe turn those notifications on and make sure to comment down below what you liked about this video what you want to see in the future and any products that you want to recommend me because I have like the same things in every video and it's getting annoying. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, which is linked down below. See you later. Bye.